Welcome to On The Bench LFC. In today's video, as promised last night, updates surrounding Virgil van Dijk and his proposed agreed deal to move to Liverpool Football Club in January. So stay tuned to the rest of the video to find out what the updates are, guys. First, I want to say if you're a Liverpool supporter and you enjoy daily videos surrounding Liverpool Football Club, make sure to hit the subscribe button now. Tick little bell notification, especially coming up to January transfer window. On this channel, we will be covering all the transfers, whether they're true, false and done deals. So make sure to subscribe now so you don't miss out in the future. So guys, obviously last night I did my video based on Virgil van Dijk and an agreed deal to move to Liverpool Football Club. Obviously at the time when it broke, I was very excited. Um, did a quick video because I wanted to get it out there. But I realised that I didn't put too much information into it and a lot of you guys have got questions. Um, so this video I'm going to try it as quick as possible to give you um, the source that I mainly got it from and also what other people are saying about it and the updates around it. So... Um, Let's just jump straight in with it, shall we? So basically, for any of you guys that don't know, um, Kevin Palmer was the main source that released it first. Um, this is what he tweeted out yesterday. Exclusive, Liverpool finally make a breakthrough in their pursuit of Virgil van Dijk, the Christmas gift all Reds fans were hoping for. So that was a tweet that he put out. There was another Twitter account that said done deal to Liverpool. And the papers are also jumping on another one, which I'm not going to say to Twitter, um name of this person because I don't generally think that I trust them fully. I don't go to them for um, my info, but they said they had a text message saying that the deal was agreed to go to Liverpool. So before I carry on, guys, I need to put this um, disclaimer out there or whatever. By Not by any means am I saying in the video today or last night, if you actually watch it and you listen to my wording, um, I hope that this is true, is what I was saying last night. Um, it's not official. It's not 100% yet. The only reason that we can then go 100% that we've got him is because if the EVA club comes out and says it, or obviously we wait till January the 1st, but, you know, um, I'm going to give you why I believe the reports the evidence to it, what I can see at the moment, and also um, then it's down to you guys to make up your decision on it. Um, you know, I've already had people say bullshit, things like, you're doing it for clicks and stuff, don't be a dickhead, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not doing it for clicks, I'm updating my subscribers as I promised on this channel, so, you know, if it's not something that you believe, then feel free to not watch the videos or the updates, that's down to you, isn't it? Um, I'm just saying, I generally do believe the reports that I'm reading, and as do a lot of media sources as well, and newspapers are also covering this today, which I did say would happen, um, but obviously this kind of broke late last night. So, a few of the reports that are going around today, guys, the update is that... Um, the deal is very close. Um, a lot of the people that tend to um, be cautious when it comes to putting out transfer rumours and things like that because it's their job, like journalists and stuff like that, um, they will be cautious and they're saying it seems very close, looks very close, the deal is very close. So none of them are wanting to fully commit to that it's been agreed, but there are other reports out there saying that um, the deal was agreed early yesterday morning and then there's another report as well saying that the deal was agreed late last night. But that's down to you guys to um, look up, do whatever you want, believe what you want. I just believe, personally, that these rumours are true. If the deal hasn't already been agreed, then I do believe that we're very close now and that he has chose Liverpool as his destination. That's the main reason for my video last night and that's the main reason for this video. Um... But a bit about Kevin Palmer, guys. For any of you that don't know, he's a journalist close to Southampton. He's very trusted when it comes to news regarding Southampton Football Club. Um, and he was also one of the journalists that said in the last transfer window, no matter how many times we saw Virgil van Dijk is going to sign for Liverpool in the next four days, within the next week he signs, he was one of the guys that said it's not happening in this transfer window. And it didn't, did it? So he was he was bang on with a lot of stuff in the last transfer window. And he has been very trusted uh, for a while now, from what I can tell. Um... There is something that I need to say to you guys surrounding him. Um, for anyone that has doubts about him, the reason some people may doubt him is because he was one of the journalists that put out that Virgil van Dijk had sacked his agent. Remember after the last transfer window, I said apparently um, he was going to sack his agent because the deal fell through to Liverpool Football Club. He was one of the guys that did that, and it turns out that it wasn't true. But I generally believe that um, he was one of the ones that it was leaked to. I think it was leaked from either Southampton or or from Virgil's representatives, for whatever weird reason, um, to try and discredit some of the sources, if you know what I mean. I'm not too sure what the ins and outs was on that, but no one is. But I'm going to put that out there so that that can help you guys make your mind up as well. But I trust this report. I don't see any reason why that bloke um, will be putting out this story, putting out that and putting his neck on the line. Um, 
for for no reason, if you know what I mean. There's got to be something that is going on there for him to say that. The only concern that I have at this point in time is that this is being put out through him via Southampton or via him from Southampton because they want to kind of kickstart Man City into a bidding war with Liverpool. Um, the rumours that are coming out today, also the updates, is that um, Southampton have agreed to let Liverpool um, talk to Virgil about getting a deal agreed. They've given the green light, basically. That's what a lot of newspapers are that going with. Liverpool got given the green light to sign Virgil van Dijk. Um, it now kind of comes down to whether Virgil chooses Liverpool or whether he will still go to Man City. Um, obviously, we're well aware of their link. But he did choose us in the last transfer window over them. Um, and Jurgen Klopp apparently um, promised him that because of the mess up we were in the last transfer window, that he would come back in for him in January. And I believe those rumours. Why, guys? Because did we see another centre-back come in? No, we didn't. Because Klopp wanted Virgil. Couldn't get him in the last one. He's going to go back in for him in January. Also, the evidence that I'm looking at as well is who's been dropped from their games the last two games. Their manager's trying to stay as tight-lipped as what he can on it. But there's only so much he can be... Um, Quite about, if you know what I mean. He's already said there's commitment issues throughout their club. We know one of them players is Virgil. He's also said that he doesn't know what the future is for him. Um, he's a big player and that there will always be speculation around him. But, like I said, he's been dropped from the game. So, I think he's already played his last game for Southampton. So, the move is definitely on the cards. And he wanted Liverpool in the last transfer window. And now a journalist that is trusted, that is close to Southampton, have said that the deal is very close to be done. And there's other sources saying that the deal had already been agreed. We're just waiting for official confirmation. So to round this video off, guys, it's not 100% been confirmed yet because you've got to wait for either club to come out and say it or we'll be waiting until January 1st, which hopefully we get a nice Christmas present and it's released later today or tomorrow, if you know what I mean. Hopefully we get some more confirmation. But definitely stick around on this channel. Subscribe if you haven't already because I will be giving you the updates as I see them come in. Um, whether it's a quick video or a more in-depth video like this one today. Just telling you why I believe what I'm seeing. Um, and then it's down to you guys what you believe. If you think that it's true, fair enough. Um, obviously I do. If you don't believe the rumours and you're waiting for more concrete evidence, that's cool. Do what you've got to do. Do you know what I mean? But please don't try and say... I'm lying because I'm not trying to say that I'm in the know whatsoever. I'm just reporting to my subscribers, as I always do, what I believe. And if I think there's something bullshit, I'll call it. And I generally do believe that there's some truth to what is coming out, guys. Hence the video last night and now today. And we will be keeping very close eye on this one until we get the official confirmation. So, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Can we get a thumbs up for the updates? And also, if you want... To get Virgil in, um, of course we do, so smash the thumbs up lads, um, subscribe to the channel like I say if you haven't already to keep up to date, I've been on the bench LFC, you've all been legends, Merry Christmas to you and all your families from my family and from the channel, hope you get everything you want and have a wicked festive season, take care guys.